Now then, welcome back to Grown Up Musings on Children's Television. Today, I want to talk about something that's concerning me about the Octonauts. For those of you who haven't seen the show, the basic premise is a bunch of animals explore under the sea, helping out fishy people where they can. So the thing that concerns me, and it's not those creepy talking vegetables, is the command structure. The leader of the Octonauts is called Captain Barnacles, but who's promoted him to captain? Under whose jurisdiction do the Octonauts operate anyway? For me, it's very much a case of a polar bear captain gone rogue. He's clearly an eccentric millionaire who's created this octopus-like submarine with its crazy living spaces in random pods on the arm. Also, the octopus blatantly has more than eight arms. And he's recruited a weird crew of miscreants and has-beens and weirdos to help him save fish. I, for one, would be very, very concerned for the safety of the people involved in Octonauts. Especially one of them's a cat who's a pirate, because cats love water. I just worry that Captain Barnacles is off his rocker, and his crazy schemes are going to get his whole crew hurt. It's fortunate for him that they have Dashy. Dashy is clearly the brains of the operation, and creates all of the Octo vehicles with stupid names like Gup. Be. Without her, most of the animals on that vessel would have tired a long time ago. But that's what I think. Please tell me what you think. Have you seen Octonauts? Do you think it's just a piece of harmless fun? Are you impressed that it's one of the very few shows that doesn't use the good guy, bad guy dynamic? Or are you as concerned as I am for the safety of these animals that explore under the ocean? Please leave me a comment down below. Also, please give the video a like, share it around on Facebook and Twitter, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you very soon.